In this lecture, we're going to talk about SAP MM tables. Okay, and this is just an overview for extra knowledge because sometimes you can be asked about some knowledge about the tables in the interview you may face. So SAP tables, there are thousands of tables, even more than thousands of tables, I would say. There's so many tables in SAP MM and whatever data you create whether you're creating a master data whether you're creating some customizing or you're creating a transaction like purchase order or um, a material document system is storing all the data in the sap tables okay and sap tables are basically a technical term so when i say technical term that means it's more a BAP side than functional side okay but you do not need to memorize any of the table you will be learning all these tables automatically once you start a job okay you will learn most of the important tables I mean because as I said there are thousands of tables and no one can remember all of them but the important ones you will automatically remember once you start a project or get a real-time job and in this topic I'll talk about just an overview of the tables so here i'm showing you some um, um, material master table okay so here you can see the data in the tables are linked together okay so here you can see um, mara table okay so mara table i'll show you the mara table practically in a minute but mara table is a general data of the material master okay and mark is the plan data of the material master okay this is the valuation data okay that is the stock data store location data so all the data stored are stored in the sap tables and they are basically linked to each other okay so here you can see mara this is the general table general material master table okay this is the plant material master table both of them are linked to each other and the link between them is what is common between them the common thing between them is the material number okay so if i say mat number material number is the link the common thing between two tables that is joining to each other same is the link between this one like that okay so uh, this is the description table description of the material master this is the unit of measure this is the sales area data so data is, is as i said different types of data will be stored in different areas and they will be linked to each other okay so that's just an overview of the material master i'll show you some practical in a minute and then we'll talk about the data in the pir record okay so we created so many pir records earlier and here you can see pir record basically it has different views in the pir record we have seen earlier and the general data of the pir record okay the general data will be stored in the table eina ina okay and the purchasing org data will be stored in eine table and they will be linked to each other by the by a common thing what is the common between them the common thing is between them is the info record number okay pir number every pir record has some 40,000 some number so PIIR record number is the link between them okay and this is further assigned link to some plant specific data and this is further linked to some condition data when I say condition condition means pricing we also enter some price right in the PI record and that is a header of the price and the item of the price is KONP okay which is the item of the price so there's a PI record same way for an example uh, purchase requisition table here if you see that the purchase requisition main table is this one eban eban is a prereq table okay this is further linked to this table which is for text this is for text of header this is text for item this table and on the other side this is linked to ebkn table which is for purchase requisition account assignment okay let's see the next one purchase order table okay so for purchase order 
okay mainly in the purchase order what we have is we have a header and we have a we have one item okay so header is this one purchase document header header okay which is eco eco is the header table and ICPO is the line item table there's a document item that the item data will be stored here and this header will be stored here okay in the ICPO. and again they are linked with so many other tables and here you can see only the important tables for example source list we covered earlier so this will be also linked to source list table this item data will be also will be getting the data from pi records which is ina it will be linked to this table and ina is for the link to other tables okay as we have seen in the previous slide so here you can see the the link between different tables so the question here is how to find a sap table okay for a field in the transaction or let me show you this one first so for example if you want to see a field if you want to find a field name in material master okay so just open material master i will open any material here go to mm02 enter material okay so here for example you want to see in what table the description this is the description of the material is stored okay if i press f1 here press f1 and click on this little button spanner button which is technical information click on that here it will tell you that the table name is makt and that is a field name okay makt is a table name that is a field name okay we calling it description of the material but in sap term behind the screen the tables this is known as maktx this is the field name only the description field name is mats resides in this table okay how to open a table table transaction is sc16 sc16 to open any table in sap okay for example if you want to see makt go to one new session here go to sc16 makt enter here you can enter the material number or if i just say abc123 material execute that here you can see the data stored in the table okay so here you can see data is, can be stored in different languages so so we have these are the, the different languages we have maintained so if you just in english if you talk about english it's only notebook professional okay if i go back if i just run it for everything okay there's a limit here for 200 because otherwise system can crash if you try to run it if there is thousands of data leave it 200 just execute it it will give you first 200 material data okay so here you can see material number 23 somebody created material number 38 or if you want to more specific you can say all the materials starting with say abc star that means give me all the materials starting with abc execute that so you can see different materials you have abc 109 that has this description abc 1 2 abc 1 2 3 4 abc some others okay so that's a very small table actually if you want to see a big table if i show you for example if you see where the uh, base unit of measure this one base unit of measure if i press f1 on this one and click on this little spanner button here so you can see this data is stored in this table mara and that is the field name okay mara so in the other one the field name you can see that is a field name here that's a field name or you can go back you can click on setting field selection here you can see the field name so matx is the material description okay so if i show you the mara table again here mara table for the base unit of measure and that is a field name so just go to mara table first mara enter and here just enter say abc123 material and that's a huge table if i execute that okay so you can see there's a material name who created who created this one last change and some other fields what is the material type material group there's so many data you can see weight unit of measures things like that 
and unit of measure should be somewhere here item category okay if i scroll right even description is here if i scroll left again if you want to see the unit of measure it should be somewhere here What we can do is, if this is huge, or you can select that and go to detail. So you can see that here as well, this way. See, base unit of measure, ST. Okay, ST. This is base, this one, base unit of measure, ST. It's just converting PC to ST. Okay, basically PC is the English language and ST is the German language, something like that is showing you in the German language here. Okay. So that's how you can find the table. Okay, if you go to MRP tab, for example, MRP tab, and here you want to see MRP type, see MRP type, press F1 here. You want to see which table it resides, click on this banner. It resides in mark table, mark, M-A-R-K, and that is a field name. So go to mark tab table. Mark. Enter the material ABC123. Execute that. Here you can see all the plant specific data, which is linked to that plant, plant only. For example, plant is 1000. You can I can also enter the plant here 1000. So because material already only exists in thousand plant, that's why there's one plant. Mm -hmm. So here you can see all the data, safety, stock, reorder points. This is the MRP type here, PD. Okay, that's what we have the material master. If I pick a material, say, which exists in more than one plant, say HT1010, let me check. So you can see HT1010 exists in so many plants, plant thousand, this plant, this plant, this plant. And every plant has its own data. So all the data will be stored here. So if I go back to the, main, the screen before that I was showing you here. So here you can see the Mara, the first table, the sorry, MAKT is the description table. That's the general table. That's the plant table. Same way all the tables are linked to each other. Okay, so this is linked to this one. This is linked to this one. Okay. If you just remember the these three tables for material master, that's more than enough. And uh, okay, so I've shown you how to find a table. And also, there's another thing I would like to tell you. Sometimes what happens is when you try to find a field name, sometimes it doesn't doesn't tell you the right one. For example, if I start mm02 again. Sometimes say, I want to see the table for this field. Okay, so if I put the cursor here in this field, press F1, the material number, click on spanner. It's showing you the table name as RMMG1, okay, which is wrong. If I copy that, and material number, this is fine, field name is fine, but RMMG1, if I copy that, and if I go back, go back, paste that table here, press enter, it will tell you that this is a structure, not a table. Okay, so what I want to say is, you can see the message at the bottom, I click on the message. This is a structure, not a table. Okay, again, there's another thing in a bag which is known as structure, okay, which is again, technical side, I can't explain much. So sometime it doesn't, what I want to say you that sometime it will not show you the exact, the right table name. It's showing you the right table name here, but it's not the table name, it's a structure name. Okay, so these type of things probably you will learn with some experience. I know which table this one is. This is Mara and Mark and um, MAKT, all tables. You can see the material number. And these type of things, sometimes it will show you like this one. And if you are new, um, then you can Google it. Okay, what is the table name for this field? You can Google it. Okay, or you can see that joining field, the 
table name table name for this field the next field and maybe most likely it is the same table you can check within that table so it's sometimes it can be tricky so if you cannot find the table name for this field then probably you can uh, ask the technical guy a bab guy okay and sometimes you will need to know the table names when you will be creating a functional spec okay i'll talk about functional spec later on in the other video but you may need to have some basic knowledge about the tables and field name for creating the functional spec and uh, important tables in sap mm module so here i have written down some important tables as i said there can be thousands of tables but these are the important ones and you can uh, download this slide from the website I already put it under the study material so when you log into the website you can find this slide as well and you can download it for the future reference so there's a one slide here and that's another one okay here all the important tables are again you can google it anytime they is available on internet so thank you to watch this lecture i will catch you in the next video